waves. This can lead to rapid erosion as the waves, deprived of their sediment buffer, begin to attack the land behind the beach. Similarly, the damming of rivers has a profound effect on our coastlines. Rivers have always been a primary source of sediment for many of the world's beaches, carrying sand and silt from the mountains down to the sea. When we build dams for hydroelectric power or irrigation, we trap that sediment behind the dam wall, cutting off the supply to the coast and starving the beaches. Removing coastal vegetation is another way we inadvertently accelerate erosion. Plants like mangroves, seagrasses, and the grasses that grow on sand dunes are nature's coastal engineers. Their roots act like a net, binding the sand and soil together and making it much more resistant to being washed away by waves and wind. The plants themselves also help to absorb wave energy, acting as a natural buffer that protects the land behind them. When we clear these plants to make way for development, agriculture, or aquaculture, like shrimp farms, we remove this vital natural protection. The exposed bare soil is then easily eroded, leading to the rapid loss of land and the degradation of these important coastal habitats. Finally, the overarching human impact that affects every coastline on the planet is climate change, driven by our burning of fossil fuels. As we discussed, climate change is causing sea levels to rise, which is a direct driver of increased erosion. But it's also changing weather patterns, potentially leading to more frequent and more intense storms in some regions. These superstorms bring with them higher storm surges and more powerful waves, unleashing devastating erosive force on our coastlines in a very short period. In this way, our global actions are amplifying the natural forces of erosion, putting coastal communities and ecosystems around the world at ever-increasing risk. Our footprint on the planet is now so large that we are actively reshaping its very geography.